it on great. All go, no wait. Champion, no debate. First place, go play. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. Humble Greatness in the building. Man, you already know what it is. I got two special guests with me. Mm. I'm gonna have them introduce themselves. Go ahead. It's your girl, Candy B. And y'all know I stay poppin' in the streets, pulling up on people, love interviewing. This is what I do. You know, I just, when you love what you do, it shows. <laughs> hey, man, it's real tough. It's your boy Who we got Marty, in the middle? It's your boy, I know. Marty McFly, man, with an I, not a Y, you know. Um... Yeah, man, man, the one and only. Okay. One <laughs> on one. We in there. Chill. So let me tell y'all the situation. So Marty hit me up and was like, man, I'm trying to get on one of them little artist interviews. I was like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're here for, really. We're here for the man in the middle. And we're just going to talk to you, man, because you come and you go. <laughs> See, and I didn't even know that. I'm like, yeah, when did he, he go somewhere? He, he comes and he goes. So... Uh, the first thing is, man, what's what's popping for 2023? That's the first question. Man, um, a whole lot of prosperity, that's for sure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, me and the team, we got a lot going on right now. Shout out to Dog ENT. Um, the KTFC brand is it's, it's doing well. They got a lot going on right now. You okay. Know what I'm so, I'm going to tell y'all something that y'all don't know real quick. I'm going to interrupt them. Yo, he his team is hard. Like, if you look up at the lineup, your team yeah, is crazy. For sure, for sure. So who's on the squads for people who don't know? Okay. Yeah, Man. the skill level is ridiculous. Shout out to Hot Sauce, Lil Ways, Dre Day, TTG, Just Three, my boy PG, Mad Dog ENT. Everybody oh, hard. He sounds like, like he has just been in the game for like 20 years. Like. Everybody on his team. <laughs> yeah. The thing about your squad, bro, let's keep it a thousand. The thing about your squad is everybody can really hold their own. No, nah, most definitely. Nice. We, we, they, they that's very are. rare. <laughs> Everybody's dope. Like, wow. we're, we're all dope solo artists, but as a yeah. collective, you know, yeah. it's a strength in numbers. Yeah, absolutely. So, man, let's talk about... Um, so, hold on, hold on. We have the team, right? Mm -hmm. So, when y'all work, do y'all work collectively? Are we like Rough Riders back in the day? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, You that get a little good. bit of both. Okay, cool. So... Sometimes we work collectively, and then sometimes we deal with one another solo. You know, I like that. So I like that. I like. That. Okay, so how long you how long you been rapping for? Um, I've been making music for about twenty years. No, what? And I just said like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been making music for a long time. Um, I'm obviously screwed up on this. I record. started. Uh, yeah, I yeah. started with producing, making mm, beats. Okay, he hard at that too. Um, wow. Like for real, yeah. Yeah, that he was dope. probably about eleven. I was probably like eleven. Shut up! You had beats. the little thing and was like making. Oh uh, well, my mom bought me a keyboard for Christmas. You can play the piano. No. Oh okay. Can you Not play any all. instruments? Um, the guitar. Shut the front door. Yeah, I've been playing that for probably about five years now. Really? You took lessons and everything? Nah, self-taught. Shut up! So what Teach you, me! <laughs> so, <laughs> you got, so you got like a beat machine? You know how to work the beat machine? Uh, yeah, I know how to work the beat machines, MIDI boards, any kind of controller pertaining to any kind of DOS software. Yo, that's computer. dope. Uh, Fruity Loops, Logic. That is so cool. Now, is it? I've always wanted to learn to play the guitar. Is it hard to learn? Um, The hardest part for me was adjusting my hands. What about the reading music? Well, I guess you already knew. Well, it was. I, I I pretty much learned how to play off a of ear. That's a lot of black people. You know, we are the fourth so, day yeah, yeah, yeah. of Black like, History Month. Huh? I got know? a stack of books. You know what I'm saying? I got a stack of guitar books at home, but I haven't really went through any. Yeah. Of like, He's just, gifted. He was born this way. But also, that's the 2023 way. You know what I'm saying? For instance, like. If somebody comes in the studio, you know what I'm saying, and say they make beats, I don't care if you have a degree. Do you know Do you know how to do this? If mm. you do, yeah. cool. If not, cool. No, you don't got to have so, a sheet of paper. Not all. for me. <laughs> and um, so I started making beats, and I started rapping because I had no one to rap to my beats. Mm. Ah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. So, you know what this going to sound like. Yeah, I had nobody to rap to my beats, so I started rapping to my beats, and then... I really had nobody to sing on my beats or for me, uh, so I started doing that as well. You know, I what can saying? do it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I want to hear some of your early stuff. It's hard. Yeah, really. I'm gonna so tell y'all this. I, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna tell y'all this. He's one of the only artists, and I'm not just talking him up because he's here. He's one of the only artists 
that can like come through and probably lay like three, four songs in an hour. Mm-hmm. Like everything's one take. Like, hey, I'm gonna do the hook. Boom. You know hey, I'm gonna what? do the verse. Boom. Hey, I'm gonna do. I like that. We there's make, an artist. We songs in like Man, 10, 15 minutes. There's an artist <laughs> nah, that I like. Real. Um, that, well, actually, that I love. I'm a fan of Erica Badu. She says something in the interview. Art. She was like, "You only have one take." Mm-hmm. So that's why it's really good as entertainers. Any anything you do. When to, I came back to, to give Wichita, it everything. When I came back to Wichita in 2020, shit. Me and Angelo probably recorded five tapes from. Yeah. I'm gonna say from September to December, maybe. Okay, so wait, where where'd you come from? I was in I was in Dallas. <laughs> because I'm like I yeah, thought you were nah, from here. I was in Dallas, Texas. <laughs> I was born here, and I wasn't raised here as a child. I came back when I was 14. So you've been bouncing back from here in Dallas. Yeah, just well, not even necessarily Dallas, but around what, military. Nah. Nah, you know, mama just... He's in his back. Situations. <laughs> Situations. Yeah, yeah, you on. know, mama find good jobs or whatever. Okay. You know, she got to do what she got to do. Where to was your favorite us. place you lived at out of all the places you... Um, Probably Houston. Mm. Texas. It's a lot of culture down there. That's, That's what I three. heard. I heard the black people are doing it. Yeah, but they got their <laughs> own culture. Yeah, they got their own culture, they man. Own they culture. know... Yeah. The crazy thing about Houston, they know when you out of town. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? They know when you ain't from there because you just don't... You just don't move like them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is it like a cross between? But I don't. Is it like a cross yo, between New York people and like Miami? I don't know. Like, they just got the culture where even like if I'm from the north side of Houston and I go to the south side of Houston, they know I'm from the other side of Houston. Yeah, wow, it's deep. Sure. Yeah, it's yeah. like that. Wow, it's based on haircuts and shit. <laughs> like certain, like yeah, based like you on got haircuts, grease on your scalp. Uh, yeah. gr- you know, grills, jewelry. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, fashion. Like it's. Yo, so well, I mean, dope. that, that kind of reminds me of Dallas a little bit because they Dallas is kind of yeah, Dallas is like that too. So is Houston just like three notches up from Dallas? Um, I wouldn't yeah. say that. I, I mean, they both got their own cultures, you know. Yeah, it's just so you mm. know, they just they both got you know. Never been. I've always wanted to go. If he was yeah. from Dallas and he went to Houston, they would know he's from Dallas. That's crazy. Yeah, like you can sit down and have a conversation, and be like, "Oh, bro, you you probably from Dallas or Austin or something." That wouldn't happen here in Kansas. Somebody nah, came see, from that's Kansas that's City. That's why I'm over here, like, hmm. Yeah, they they just know, man. They got it so down packed. It's like that in Atlanta too. They know when you're from the mm-hmm. other side of Atlanta. Shut they up. Ain't even gotta say nothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, nah, so real. you did know. music when you was down there. And then yeah, I've been doing music for a long time. You came back, yeah. So that's your life. You don't have no side hustle, no other job. Well, I got many. I got many hustles, and and I do many things. What and else you do? He does clothes too. Uh, oh, well, wow, this is my first time I'm interviewing him. Uh, I'm excited. I'm gonna let him talk. A girl, I got my own juice. Um, I got juice too. Hold on, let's talk about the juice. Hold you on, don't juice? Leave. Yeah, yeah, Marty's Melonade. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, Marty's Melonade. We got to know that. Yeah. For real? Mm-hmm. Duh, we're going to have to do a taste test. Yeah, for <laughs> Right, sure. because at this point, we got to collab. Yeah, Marty's Melonade. We yeah. got that juice, she baby. She does juices too, for real. Yeah, for sure. I know you just see, Mom. Mm-hmm. We're going to have to trade. Yep, 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 for sure. So what else? Okay, juice. I know you didn't did clothes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, uh, I'm in the process of writing a book right now. Mm. Um, What's the book about? Tell me that. Um, I love it. It's like your life, or is it? No, nah, just go. My bad. It's basically, <laughs> it's basically, it's basically my life story, but in a different character format. Mm. So you, I got you. So you write, you basically putting a movie together, kind of. Pretty much. So you writing the book first, oh, and then what's what's next, or what's you, next after the book? Yeah. Uh, just pressing the line on it for real. Do you just getting it you, out to the masses? Yeah. You do poetry. So I make music. So that is, is my it, poetry. It's my poetry, my therapy. It's so everything. somebody can't make music and not do poetry. I it, go ahead. It's like one. In, it's like one in the same. They go hand yeah. in hand. Yeah. It's just a different mm-hmm. delivery. Yeah. Because spoken word is poetry. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But it just has a different title. It's just spoken word. Okay, so what else you know? I'm excited. What else you done made? Like a different game controller or something? He got a car coming out. Yeah. Oh, shit. I wish shit. <laughs> he got a he got his own coming little, soon. I'm trying to put lineup. myself in position so my kids can do that. This yeah, nigga got some dope. cologne coming out tomorrow. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> nah, for real. The real, thing bro. about it too is, you know, being an entrepreneur and pushing your product, you really start to realize that it's achievable. Oh, of course. You know what I'm saying? Like when you really see kids 
working for different companies, it's just like, dang, bro, we can do that. If we just put our hands together, you know what I'm saying, our minds together, we can do that. No, What's wrong definitely. with people? They just don't want to work together, it's, man. It's, I ain't taking this number It's definitely a strength in numbers. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. A strength in numbers. So what are you dropping this year? What's the plan? Well, I just dropped a tape, um, It's Better This Way, on the 12th of January. Okay. You, you said it's called It's Better This Way? Mm-hmm. So, How many songs we got? I was just getting ready to answer. Um, it's okay. about uh, nine songs, I believe. Okay. Anybody from the camp on there? Uh, yep, just three and Dre Day. Yeah, bro. Have you already started doing <laughs> videos? Nah, we ain't shot no videos to it yet. But they Make sure coming. I get my cameo. Yeah, they coming for sure. <laughs> I love music Yeah, but videos. just three and Dre Day, they on there. Um, you Absolutely. Know. That's cool. Uh, Lil Way's got some coming. Rare Not Regular. Hot Sauce got some coming. 41 Reasons. We got a compilation CD coming out. Nice. Is this all so, this year? Mm hmm. Y'all gonna be busy. So, yeah, wait, I got a question. So, where is your favorite place to perform live at? Like, your favorite city or? Um. Mm. Mm. I would say the my favorite place I performed live was probably in Houston. Really? How many people? Yeah, oh, man, I don't even know. To it was be like honest, a festival. Yeah, uh, no, nah, it was just a party. Oh wow! Okay. Oh, yeah, was it was rocking. like a Sweet Sixteen. That oh, yeah, was that was rocking. Up. That yeah, was it was like yeah. a Sweet Sixteen. So nah, like, it was people up. from the stage to the door, yo. Like outside? Nah, it was in a big ass. Dorm, like an event like, center Yeah like a big Was ass, people um, knowing your lyrics Like did you have fans in there Nah that was like My first time ever performing Really But yeah. they rocked with you but, huh? Yeah. I already See, know they did bro <laughs> We was up there crowd. turned up man Me and my boy Mo You know what I'm saying We was up there turned up And they was fucking with us And he from He from Houston You know what I'm mm. saying 503 North Manor So Okay Okay So in, you, you know? got You got kids Yeah I got four Do they Are they musically inclined um. Yep. My youngest, my youngest son, and my youngest daughter is very musically inclined. Um, instrument or just singing, rapping. Um, a little bit of everything for real. I mean, they, me they, they be out. around their dad. So wait, let me find out. Know. They know how to play the guitar too. Oh, wow, we getting there. <laughs> He's getting cold. There. We that's gonna a, get there. That's another twenty twenty three goal. Oh, yeah, me. we getting there. I'm about to ask a random question. How many languages do you it's speak? A, it's a process. <laughs> you speak more than one language. Um, I speak too. See? I say I speak a little fluent in Spanish. Okay. You know <laughs> we going to Mexico tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why That's I love tomorrow. That's dope. Yeah, I actually got a song coming out. The whole song's in Spanish. It'll be dropping this spring. I knew it. He is beyond his yeah, years. More. Shout out to 1823, my brother. He produced the track. That's dope. And we put it together and Y'all gonna that like is amazing i love it when that is a true artist when you can have a wide range you can sing play an instrument like you are truly an entertainer yeah self-talk that's amazing yeah, you that, know that really is bro that's a huge like there, it it really was my therapy i believe you it because I'm, I'm not really like just a people person i've been like an introvert why is my that whole life um well, I moved around a lot. Yeah. So you didn't Absolutely. get attached. So I didn't really just, yeah. I really wasn't attached to nobody. I didn't mm. just take the time to make friends and, you know, do these things because I moved around so much. Yeah. Are you the only child or? Nah. How many siblings? Nah, um, well, we talking about both sides. Yeah. And now, uh, how many how many kids did your mama and daddy have? Well, my dad has seven. No, and, I mean together. Are you the only one? I'm the only one. Ooh, oh, I got you. I'm he's one of one. special. Yeah, my father has seven and my mom has four. Wow. Yeah. Are they still alive? Um, My mother is. My father passed away when I was 14. Wow. Oh, and wow. that's a real... February, 4, February 15th of 2006. That's a really like age, like a tender age, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. you're starting to kind of learn yourself Hell when you're in your yeah. teens. For and sure. then mm -hmm. you about to drive. you about to start working. Yeah, yeah. I had to kind of figure it out on my own. Were you and your dad close like that? Not at all. Oh. Wow. So how I, often did I you... met him when I was probably about five or six. Um, my first time seeing my father was my last time seeing my father. Oh, wow. That's deep. So yeah. you really didn't have a connection with You got to put nah. that in the book. <laughs> you... I'm serious. <laughs> That's it's coming. What? So you and your mama is like this? Yeah, me and my mom are real tight. That's dope. Wow. Real, 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 real tight. I mean, I kind of put her through a lot as a kid. 
but you now know, you but, probably look out for her. And, oh, yeah, most definitely. You know, I'm grown now. So I think as teens, we all did that. You know, and then you losing your dad at an early age. I would probably put my mom through a lot of stuff, too. Yeah, you, well, shit, I was putting her through a lot prior, prior. to that. <laughs> I'm talking about seven, eight years old. Like, yeah. You was bad like that. Mm -hmm. You was getting kicked out of elementary school? Mm -hmm. Like suspended so or much. expulsion? I'm, I'm going Done. to alternative school for the rest of the year yeah did yeah. you go to juvie um nah like well, you locked up locked yeah. up nah you wasn't that bad nah, nah. he was just acting out i ain't, I ain't stupid i know i know when i can you know push the limit and then when that limit is there i'm done you know so yeah. I'm, I'm shutting it down yeah, yeah I, the next I, level is, might be the i might level. i might have done some dumb shit as a kid but I'm not a stupid person. Mm -hmm. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Very like, intellectual. Very coherent. Common sense. Very... You know, they say common sense is not so common, it's and not. sometimes I believe that. It's not. Yeah. I used to get whoopings for that. I'm big on logic. Like, just being aware and knowing what's going on. Like, use your brain, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, these kids nowadays, you you could never go live in the 90s. You wouldn't oh, survive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, it's not gonna work. It was wicked. <laughs> hey, for real. It's not gonna work. Man, and then back in Wichita back in the day, it was all that um gang banging stuff, like in the early nineties. I was like, my mom wasn't playing that with none of my it's, brothers. Don't sag. It's still here. It ain't as bad though. Shit, it's Is worse. It, nah, <laughs> man, it's worse, man. It's worse. Ain't it's, no structure in this no it's, more. It, it's, it's worse. Ain't no structure in it no more. Let, let, let me tell you These why. young cats ain't got no big homies they can go to like we did. He talking. Really? He talking. They ain't got nobody they can just come holler at. Yeah. The, it's supposed to be us, but shit, half of us, half half the the people my age don't have their shit together. So, How old are you? I'm 31. Yeah. Damn. 91. So like. The year I was born. The, so. the thing about it is. I was birthed in the golden era. Yeah. But also it's, you know, what I always say, the difference between entertainment and reality. Kids don't under, uh, the kids in hip hop, they don't understand the difference. You know what I'm saying? There's a, there's a way you can entertain, you know what I'm saying? But you also got to know what's really, really going on. So where did the line get yeah, blurred? It's a, it's, because It's an image they just portray. Like yeah. You don't necessarily yeah. have to live what you rap about. Tupac well, rapped about a lot of gangster shit, but he didn't live a lot of gangster shit. So why do people make it so big that you have to rap about what you live in? Or um, you're like false? Because people... It's an image. Yeah. Well, Social Rick media. Ross, you know, when he came out, everybody's like, he's a correctional officer. But it's an image. It's just an image that everybody's trying to uphold. So it's okay to be fake. In they the fake it till they make it in Absolutely. today's time. You know, they I fake hate, it till they make it. I hate that saying. Because then when you make it, you're still fake. But it's no. He I'm was gonna never real. So I'm gonna tell you this: the entertainment. That's how the entertainment business uh. is built. I mean, shoot, we go to a music video shoot right now. All the money's fake. The jewelry's rented. The cars is rented. The girls is there to get paid. You know what I'm saying? It's not. He ain't got all that. It's just what it is. It's an image all day. I see. When I went to Icebox uh, last year, two years ago. And I asked the lady, I said, how are rappers able to afford this stuff? She was like, oh, this stuff is rented all the time. Rented? All day. They pay a monthly. Yeah, they pay. Yeah. Everything on credit. That chain, yeah, he paying whatever a month. Yeah, they got it. And <laughs> yeah. they can't leave unless it's insured. Yeah, you're right. It's not that serious. It, it is. is. <laughs> it is. Where your chain it is. is. It is. Oh, I don't really care for it. For what? I don't really care well, for it. Well, you know, it. that's just the, with rappers. And, and, and see, I'm in the gold. I don't really care for diamonds. Mm. That's why his teeth is the way they are. Yeah, I know you have I'm one necklace go. with your name on there. Mm -mm. All my kids would be wearing the chain before I would. Wow. That's dope. That's that dope. Yo, that's, that's hard. <laughs> that's hard. You got to put that in the book. Oh, that's me. a hard line. Okay, so how old are your kids? Start um, from the oldest. 13, 9, 8, and 6. Give me the 6-year-old. Oh, my baby that's my baby is it a girl mm -hmm. give her to me yeah, that's my Aubrey Rain you know and then I'll block you that's not your child anymore that's mine that's dope man but mm -hmm. also man you at a good age with the kids cause your kids can kinda handle their own true yeah yeah they can you know. well my oldest shit me and my oldest grew up together that's crazy that's crazy I had him when I was that. 17 yeah for sure so we grew up together yep. he watched me become a man 
That's when I had my other kids, I was already a man. Correct. He watched me become. So a, does he ever try you? Like, um, nah, we have a great relationship. I bet you got a great relationship wow. with your kids. Yeah, right. He's an A one student, avid program. I'm he's, about he's, to cry. Yeah, he in there. Mm-hmm. That's, That's what's up. Beautiful. Already taking college tours. He's in the seventh grade. <laughs> so. Well, his father is beyond his light years, so the kid is somewhere <laughs> yeah, man, in another galaxy. Mm-hmm. Just passed out. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. So have you ever made an album where it's like a two disc? Um, No, I have enough music for that. Mm. But I ain't never made no two disc album. What do you like to like when you rap about? Is it something that you that touches you like when you rap? Um, Well, a lot of it is just built up emotion. Mm. Oh wow! So you don't really repeat the same stuff like when you rap. Mm. It just depends. Different forms, kind of. I'm gonna tell it you. It just this. depends on w- what do you mean by that, though. Like, I know what she means. You want me to say it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, when I put on an album by somebody, all the songs pretty much sound the same. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh-huh. Like for real. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, we made what four. Yeah, bro. You and got, none of them sound the same. He got variety for sure. He got variety. We're going to call him Variety Pack. Yeah. yeah, he got variety. It's kind of like, you remember you used to be able to order the ramen noodles variety pack? Uh-huh. He, he that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he got that. He got all the yeah. So do you ever there. like rap um, like English and then you'll throw some Spanish in there real quick? Mm-hmm. Mess that day up, please. <laughs> Y'all, he out here killing Yo, y'all. He, I'm yeah. going to tell you this, man. They're going to be like, that nigga sound like Big Pun. Yo, <laughs> the crazy <laughs> thing is when I when I first met uh, Marty, it was crazy because he was like, yo, I need an hour of studio time. I'm like, I right, bet. He sends me like five beats. I'm like, dog, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> like, dog, why are you sending me five beats, bro? You're going to need more time. He was like, all right, we'll just see what we can get done. I think we got done with like all four or five, like for real. Mm-hmm. Wow And it was all That's the thing It was all one takes It wasn't Hey let me do it over He was like Alright here's the hook Here's the verse Here's the ad libs Alright save it Let's go to the next So you one. write it down Yeah Okay Yeah but for it's, sure it's, he, he ready A lot of my music is structured I mean sometimes I don't I might just Go off the top of the head But Wow still, What still inspires right. you When you want to get into Your writing zone Um, It's therapy mm. It's whenever you feel like you know, I'm stressed out right now. Let me get my... When I'm happy, I'll write a song. When I'm sad, I'll write really? one. Really? Yeah, it's therapy. It's, it's not even something that he, like, taps into. It's wow. it, it's not like a superhero, like, let me get dressed and do this. It's just who he is. So. Mm-hmm. Look at you. You know what I'm saying? It's his lifestyle. Right. Yeah. You I know, couldn't stop. It's not a character. Well, it's, it's not a, a lot of artists, sure. like, from Kansas or just, I feel, in the present day are like that. So you're very rare. Yeah, I couldn't stop if I wanted to. Wow, that's dope, man. Please I can stop rapping stop today, and I'll just keep singing. Nah, bro. If you ever stop, if rapping, I stop rapping today, I just start. I just, I just keep singing. Oh yeah, bro, I just yeah. sing. M- music period. Yeah, I bring back that nineties R and B. Shut Come up. On, Who, who's your favorite artist? As far as um R and B. R and B. It's tough. Yeah, it is. You can do nineties and in the present day. It doesn't even got to be a favorite. Just something that you turn on. You know what I'm saying. Hey. I love Erica. She hard. Yeah, she's super hard. <laughs> she's super. I'm super, gonna meet her in real life hard. one day. But if we was to talk about, um, I would say my favorite artist in today's time. Yeah. Man, me. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't. You know, Him. like I niggas. <laughs> I believe in like. I believe in a lot of artists. Absolutely. There's no like R and B artist that inspired you or that you kinda like, okay. Not even R and B, let's just say overall artists. Well, I'm I'm intrigued about the Well, thing. a lot of artists inspire me. Uh you know who Michael Franks is? No. Well he inspires me. He he's not an R and B artist, but you know. He raps? Mm mm. What does he do? Jazz. Yep. Period. <laughs> okay, yeah. so I need to tap in. So they all do. Yep. Anita Baker. Okay. I'm inspired by a lot of people. Okay. You know so you got an yeah. old soul. Yeah, for sure. He's been here before. Um, Stevie Ray Vaughan, BB mm-hmm. King. Okay. So if I if I hop into the whip right now with you, what are you playing? Mm. Probably playing. probably some new stuff that I'm working on. Mm. That's dope. Mm-hmm. That's dope. Yeah. I'm proud of you. I'm gonna ask yeah. you a super tough question, bro. And I bet you. I, However you want to answer it, we're going to do it for the camera. Who's your favorite artist on your team? Ooh. Mm. Yeah, that's hard. I know. 
<laughs> man, my favorite artist on the team. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, he thinking. Man, they all talented, man. That's like that's they like are. picking your favorite child, huh? Man, that's like <laughs> that's like the '92 Dream Team. Man. Like, <laughs> So you let know? me ask you this. Uh, that that's damn no near way. that's damn near nah, because they all they, they all are extremely different. dope in their yeah. own way. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm I saying? Agree. And the only part I want to play in their life is help them develop themselves as artists. Mm. Yeah. That's it. Become better. That's dope. You know? I'm in love. Yeah. That's Let's dope. become better. Let's become a better artist. They all so dope though. You right, bro. The squad is ain't no one, man. Ain't no one. The squad is wow. crazy. And then Mike is the youngest, right? Mm-hmm. And I know he's still in school. Yeah, yep. he be hitting me up for studio time. He like, the baby. <laughs> Go to school, bro. <laughs> yeah, he the baby. Yeah, but he come from a musical background too. So, cause his his pops. Yeah, come shout on, out man. to Big Maestro, man, yeah, bro. We done cooked up a lot of beats together. He okay. hard. <laughs> So yeah, what's yeah. Um, something about you that a lot of people don't know? Ooh, I like that. Good question. Mm. Besides the fact he's an introvert, man. which is wild, but go ahead. Um, I'm really a man of humility. Ooh, let's talk Integrity, about Integrity. Okay. Character. Um, I'm kind of big on morals. Mm. You know, like. Are you married? No, ma'am. Are you with your baby mom? No, ma'am. Okay. You know, but I mean, we, I got great relationships with both of my baby moms. Well, too. that's good. Yeah. Um, my daughters have the same mother and my sons have the same mother. That's so, cool. Yeah. That's kind of So odd. it's just two real, rela- serious relationships I've ever really just had in my life. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's real. You know, but um, other than that, I'm chilling. See, I was waiting for him to say something <laughs> yeah, like. Yeah, I'm chilling. I can skate backwards for a whole hour. You know, nah. something random. Nah, I think I think the thing is, I mean, even on my side, you know what I'm saying, with just my family situation too, like when you really into this music thing, you really don't have time for too much else. If you really dedicated to the craft, yeah. you just really don't. This shit's like my life. <laughs> wow. You just don't, man. And when you got so much invested, man, uh, the thing even with me, like I got so much invested in this, I can't mess it up. Yeah, you know what I'm You're saying. You're gonna invest so. a lot of time and money into it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's with anything. I feel like you put your mind for sure. to that you want to do. But you got to come to a point too where it's just like, yo, I'm so focused. I can't, I can't mess this up. I've already messed it up too many times. Mm. I can't do it again. Man, you can. I've been there before. You can. Just get back up. You can. Yeah, you're right. So are you? Because you're gonna fall. Eventually, you're gonna fall a lot for sure in life. For sure, you're gonna fall, but you don't have to fall forever. No, no, nah. I, I think that that's what I'm trying to get. To. Nah, um, we all strive for longevity, absolutely. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? don't we all strive for longevity? And that's crazy. He says that because in this business, longevity is not even really a thing, right? Mm-hmm. Especially when it comes to artists. Yeah, because the attention span of today's time is seven seconds. Mm, <laughs> That's why the on. songs That's are why so short. Be a minute and a half. Yeah. Max. I'm over it. I remember talking. They to make songs for TikTok and yeah, that's it. Social Instagram media. and shit now. Yeah, get them social media checks. Mm-hmm. So, are you hard on yourself, like when it comes to like sticking to the program, like mm. what you want to do? Like, do you waver it or? I'm hard on me and everybody around me. I love it. He's my new best friend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Somebody got to be. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, saying he'll play good cop, bad cop. Nah, not necessarily saying I'll play good cop, bad cop, but when a goal is set and we need to meet this goal, mm-hmm. like 100% is required from See, all of us. Mm. like that. That's powerful. You hear what I'm saying? Like yeah. it. It ain't even necessarily about me just, like, trying to put my foot up somebody's ass. It's just we focused on trying to build some Discipline. And I need like-minded individuals around me. Yes. I've you know been what preaching I'm that for years. Team. T-E-A-M. And I have that. Mm. <laughs> right. <laughs> you do. 100%. You know? so. so let me ask you, uh, here it comes. Y'all ready? If you could change one thing. 
about the local scene in Wichita. Mm. <laughs> you know it's coming. <laughs> what would you change? Not even change. What you can answer that question, or you can answer what do you think needs to happen in order for Wichita to be on the map? Mm. Um, the artists in Wichita don't get played enough. Oh, okay. So do we need... They don't get played enough for anybody to really know who they are. The only way you can really get exposure and, and really want people to hear and listen to your songs is through the DJs and the radio stations. But we know how complicated that is. Mm. Now let me ask you... Just me on a personal level, I'm not the only one that feels this way. Of course. I agree with you. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but but is it, let me ask you this, Is it? do you feel like it's radio and DJ's, like, place? You know what I'm saying? I've, I feel like a DJ is um, no. hard nowadays. The artists got to beat their feet. I like that. You right. You got to prove yourself. I mean, ain't nobody just going to spin your shit. Oh, you got to put the work in, bro. And that's you got to literally, people. you got to literally just get into their face. Like, like, like put it, put it in their face to the point to where. They have to respect it. They get tired of dealing with you. <laughs> like, all right, bro. Like, all right. Let me hear. All right, I'll play it. Like, they're going to have to get tired of you. Yeah. Oh, my God. You know? But artists got to understand that, too. You got to beat your feet. You yeah. got to hustle, man. You got to get out here and grind. You got to get out here and, and and push you as a brand. Yeah. And even when uh, the age that you're at and where you what you've seen as far as Houston like we come from the burnt CDs time. Mm -hmm. mm. Like, yo, I'm making this album. I'm burning a thousand copies, and I'm at the mall. I'm at the flea market. I'm I'm everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, and then you know you do a show, and then pop the trunk after the show, and you selling stuff out of the back of the trunk. Like, I miss those days. Right. I miss those days because then you really see like who was really getting it in. That's what I was like. Who grinding? Who grinding? You know what um, I'm saying? And then, I mean, you build a fan base. I feel like with this whole, with streaming, it's just based on views now. Yeah, but you could pay for that. Let's keep it a thousand, a hundred percent. So, you know, I'm so I'm sick of all the foolery around here. No, but <laughs> yeah, come on. Major labels pay for it. Absolutely. There's no way. It's a machine behind that. Major labels pay for that. You're right. There's no way music videos is getting a hundred million like. In a week. Come on, man. <laughs> Major labels pay for that. Nah. Well, some songs I play exposure. again when, when Drake came out with that Jumbotron. Yeah, but there's over like 2 million songs that get uploaded to streaming sites like every week or every month or something like that. It's a stupid number. 30,000 songs a day, probably. <laughs> I can almost guarantee that. Come on, man. <laughs> but I feel like the, the artists that are way up, like their shit's organic. No, no. In a sense. Yeah. Because they've... They, they, have, a, they have a cult following. You know, but they yeah, also but you, got a machine behind them. Yeah. All day long. Mm -hmm. Have to. So do you give homage to the artists of the old school because they had to do the selling out Absolutely. the trunk and, you know? Um, Yeah, you got to respect the hustle. You know, I feel like it kind of need to go back to that. Mm -hmm. I feel like it need to go back to that, too. Yeah. It just levels the playing field. Like nowadays, the playing. The field. Internet watered everything down. Yeah. Nothing's organic anymore. Artists used to tap in with the people. I'm over it. Now they want the people to tap in with them. Yeah. Artists used to express and embrace How the is fans and the people. They don't do that anymore. So what do they do now? Go to social media. <laughs> they I'm make confused. videos about it. You know, their content. They just create uh, their little content. And, and that's how they built their followings now. I'm confused. I'm for you real, know. but... We do need to go back to the old school. Yeah. It's the only way. Like back then, it was word of mouth. Yeah. That, that's the best. You me. didn't have a lot of places to go to listen or watch certain individuals' videos. Mm. Like so It was word of mouth. Like imagine like Wichita now, if we were to throw it, if we were to move the time back, an event, for example, you can't just log into the internet and figure out what events is popping. A promoter has to really be like, hey, mm -hmm. come to this. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Not only that, but I'm going to have to get the same flyer like three different. I'm going to have to go to the mall mm -hmm. and get a flyer. Then I'm going to go get my haircut and they talking about it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm in the studio and the rapper's like, hey, did you hear about? Okay, you know, 
three. That's I've true. seen it three times. So yeah. let's tap in wow. while people's going there. But now, you know what I'm saying? I could, after this is done, I mean, shoot, I can even hop on my phone right now and be like, events in Wichita. Okay, which one am I going to go to? Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's no there's no hustle in that. Mm. Nah, and that's, that's kind of what the world is lacking right now. Yeah. I love a good I agree. hustle. Mm-hmm. Dang. That's yeah, that's yeah. just what it is. Okay, so I'm not mad at it. It's just it's just times have just changed so much. Mm-hmm. And when you talk about hip hop, man, and there's there's no there's no really there's no how do I wanna say it? there's no rules to this anymore. No, it's evolving. Um and I guess our generation is starting to feel like how our ancestors felt. They really didn't understand Ooh. the evolution of it. Oh, okay. I like you that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, absolutely. They didn't understand the evolution of it, and it seems weird, a lot of the music <laughs> today, you know? But For sure. I look at my 13-year-old son, and I'm like, okay, he listens to this, and I see that a lot of these young kids are into, like, rage rap. Yeah. You know? Well, you a know, a new a, pit. Yep. Well, a new genre wow. that I found was the country rap. Mm-hmm. I really well, like I, that. it's 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 been around. Country rap been around for man. A I heard some a couple months ago. My homeboy put me on to. I said I'm downloading. Who's this yeah. artist? Like, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I ran it. It's crazy you said that. I ran it into some country uh, rap last night. One thing that I like to do is I like to get on YouTube and try to find that artist that has really good music but hasn't blown up yet. Mm-hmm. Oh like, yeah, up and coming. Yeah, I think he only had like. See, that's the job of a DJ. Yeah. Come on. Period. (laughs) That's the job of a DJ. Yeah. DJ used to break artists. All day. They don't really do that anymore. Even when the mixtape scene, hey, I'm going to play the DJ that hosts the (laughs) mixtape. In today's time, they want to be... They're watered down. Don't don't, (laughs) don't take this wrong, but in today's time, DJs kind of want to be the artists. What do you mean? What do you mean? mean? Like, they want to be as relevant as the Mm. artists. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's. You know? It was different back in the day. Jam Master J. Yeah. He blew up on the strength of putting Run DMC together. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, they don't do that anymore. But it was also DJs, too, looking. You're right. It was DJs also looking for artists um, around that early 2000s time. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, let me host your mixtape. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That was the a huge deal. Cannons, the dramas, Come on. all them. Absolutely. DJ Ill Will. Yeah, <laughs> DJ Ill Rockstar. Will. <laughs> yep. All of them. Real shit. Wow. Yeah. But that's just, I think that's one thing that we lack. Mm. So really, you think it's you talk better? About, no, go ahead. So you really just think it's better if the DJs collab like with the artists to move the music? Like, it helps. That's the only way we're going to get on. So why the DJs ain't helping? Mm-hmm. It's not... It's not even that. The DJs ain't helping. It's they want to be the guy. It don't work like that. You get what I'm saying? And me as an artist, as a DJ, right, I do it all, right? So I get to see it from every perspective. Mm. I get to see what artists deal with when I'm when I'm a DJ. You know what I'm saying? I get to see what artists deal with when I'm an artist. So I see it. From every perspective. That's actually really good. You get what I'm saying? But that's just what we lack. Mm. The DJs don't push us like they should. They don't support the artists like they should. Mm-hmm. Dog and T got their own DJ. Bro, you got everything. <laughs> you For real. For, but see, I'm going to tell, tell you this. Any <laughs> artist from Dog and T will never have to worry about having a DJ. Because they got their own so DJ. Dope. Mm-hmm. So when do y'all Let me ask you this When are y'all gonna do a, Another show I know y'all had tried To do one uh, A couple of years ago I think At mm-hmm. um, I think it was 54 West mm-hmm. Whatever incident Happened Happened Are y'all trying to do that again? Yeah it's coming Yeah okay cool Yeah it's coming I need to so, know Yeah I need we that We gonna chop it up It's coming <laughs> I need that I'm trying to be there Yeah it's coming Yo cool. the lineup I'm telling you The lineup is shit. I I want to hear the other artists now. They are. Go tap in, man. They out on all platforms. Shut all up. All of them. All of them. Lil I know. Wise, so Dre which that. album do you think should I start off listening to that where I can catch everybody? Uh, well, have you tapped in with Hot Sauce Trust Issues? 
some of her stuff uh yeah some of her stuff i have you have yeah she got some new stuff coming out but residential politics life at 19 um dre day they all got their albums out those are the names of the albums right but they don't, just three. there's not just like one album that y'all done, done together where nope it's coming that's the one I want to hear. Nah, we focused. That's the one I want to hear <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah. We focused on everybody and their solo projects first. Yeah. Okay. Smart. Yeah. When y'all gonna drop that one? It's coming this year. This summer. That's what I was gonna say. It gotta be this summer. Mm -hmm. This summer. Okay. Dog and T comp. It's coming. I'm excited. That's, a, that gonna be crazy. That's the one I want to hear. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. And we got some dope features on there too. So. You know, uh, don't put me behind the mic. Um, dude, I think I think what the city needs, man, we just need support. Like when I look at other music videos and other artists, you know what I'm saying, that are that are blown up and running numbers, I mean one artist is you know what I'm saying? One artist might be rapping, but there's a hundred people in the video. Like for mm -hmm. real, you know what I'm saying? There's a Who's the whole artist? gang of people. So um, you know, that's how New York is moving. That's how Chicago's moving. A lot of these cats is moving like that. And, and so when you get to Wichita and you got, let's keep it a thousand, you got one, two, three people in the video, ain't nobody watching that. No, yeah. they be having people well, in there. Depending, they, depending. Oh, okay. Depending on, like, you can't be having like a high energy video with just one person in it. Oh, of course. You know what I'm saying? And, and the song might be super hard. I mean, you can if your energy, right? The song might be super hard, but people like to see support. That's true. Yeah, but you can if your energy right. Well, you know what I don't like you is can, how people do. Like, like if you a vibe, you right. They gonna fuck with you regardless. You right. You, right. you ain't gotta and, and just me being me personally, I don't deal with a lot of people. I'm not around right. a lot of people. He's an introvert. You can watch the majority of all my videos. I'm in the video alone. Mm. Okay, so. <laughs> I yeah. don't like so I don't about that. He right about so, that. Yeah. So the artist that I don't mean, if your play, music trash and you just, I mean, you know, Ice Ice JJ Ice Fish, what's his name? I mean, <laughs> niggas like that blow up all the time. So I'm like, screaming. you can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, so with your music video, I need a feature for Fish. Go ahead. <laughs> Do you have a man? It's real though. Like, motherfuckers just blow up. Your music ain't got to be good. None of that shit. You'll blow up just being trash. So do you'll you get talked about. Yeah, there you go. You'll get talked, You'll get about. talked about. Just being trash. So do you always know. have a concept behind your music videos when you do them, or is it just like hood music videos? You know, where they just got the bottles and the girls and the... She or do you actually... In, nah, you put thought behind your music videos. It's it's a little bit of both, okay. I guess. I mean, I've been rapping for a long time. I got a lot of videos out, so... I think it really depends on who your videographer is. Just with is my too. growth, just with my growth, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, the more I grew, the less individuals you start seeing around me. Ooh. You get what I'm That's saying? That's how it's Absolutely. supposed to be because you elevate and everybody yeah. can't come. Everybody's not even meant to come. It's nah, just how it is. because nobody has the same vision. You got to deal with people that have the same vision. Like, Absolutely. They got to see what you see. Mm. It ain't going to work. And they ain't supposed to see what you see. Hold up, but back to the music video scene real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's also who you who you hire, man. Not everybody's good at everything. You know what I'm saying? There's people that are really good at I mean, let's just let's name drop, man. Manny Santos, man. He's really good at doing stories. Yeah, that's my guy. He's really Bray Bray when he was shooting, he's really good at doing stories. That's why he shoots movies now. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So you got you got running people who are really good at running gun. You know what I'm saying? Like Cody's, he's really good at that V three. So well, everybody got their starting. That's point. what I'm saying. Yeah. But you know, and then like, everybody's also in it for their own reasons. Some people are in it because they want to. They big on effects. Some people are big yeah, on just. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Picture quality. Just there's yeah. a lot of different reasons people. Are I in think it. when you have just when you're looking for videos, and this is just me, just my artist mind you really just got to figure out okay i got this song who's the best person for this song maybe it's a run and gun song maybe it's a storyline song maybe it's you know what i'm saying maybe i want a whole bunch of effects so it really just depends yeah artists also got to learn how to work together dang they be they be tripping like that come on man it's 100%. a lot of it's a lot of in-house behind this behind the wall shit going on but a lot of artists don't really just fuck with each other here 
That's crazy. And we so small. And everybody be knowing each other. That's what I'm saying. I don't <laughs> see why not. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't it's um. Well, you know, we kind of chopped it up about it earlier. I think it's yeah. just like an ego thing. I was gonna say that next. Everybody want to be the the top camp. Well, you know who's putting in the but work? In, but in order to be the top camp, you got to put in the most work. See, that's what I'm saying. Come on, man. We got to work together, y'all. And them dogs be putting in work. Period. I already know. Bro. <laughs> I already know. I'm excited for what y'all have. Um, first of all, what you have, but um, what everybody else has as, as a collective. Because when you say dog E and T, yeah, you got a nice squad. But at the end of the day, dog E and T want to be where they at without you, right? Like you, the you, the you, the you are dog E and T. What do you mean? Are you? Yeah. Are you like CEO, the founder. The own, that's what I'm saying. Uh, no, nah, my boy PG. Oh, okay. Shout Sound out to PG. Game. Yeah, that's Dog and T was created before, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, we always been I always thought that tight. was your thing. I didn't nah, know. No, we always been click tight. And um, okay. he started Dog and T, like, 2015. Oh, mm. gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And then he found Hot Sauce. So on Hot Sauce in like 2017, Smart. 2018. I like that. So Hot Sauce was the first artist? The first artist. Wow. That's the queen of the camp. And then who's second? That's the queen of the camp. Um, dog and T, yeah. Uh, just three. So when did you come on board? <laughs> <laughs> what did you? Come I didn't on come board? on board as an artist. You came on board as a producer. Yeah. Ah. And then they heard your bars and engineer. said, "Engineer, what are we doing? Producing. That's all I was doing. Artist development. I was just creating a better sound. You for a the team artist. player, bro. That's what it is. I like you know, a team player. Yeah. I didn't come on as a, as an artist. I just had three album. is cold. Yeah. Just three is hot sauce, and then just three came. He hard. And then Lil Wise came. And then Dre Day came. Tough. TTG came. I'm a fan. Now we locked in for life. I love it. Yeah, they know, man, me and PG got them for life. That's the hope, man. Yeah, for life. Mm. So. I, so, like I said, I'm excited about what y'all got coming. Because, um, man, every artist, man, your whole team, bro. Yeah, man, we got a lot of we got a lot of work coming, man, this year. A lot of visuals. So what's the next A lot of projects. Thing? What is it, February? Mm, I know. Yep. Don't forget. February. Yep. It's February. What 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 we got dropping in February? Or do we do we have like a chart? You We're not regular. A little ways. Okay, cool. Got you. But yeah, he dropping he dropping this month. Somebody was just telling me about Little Ways and I watched his He uh, hard. <laughs> yeah, I watched his music video. I'm like, okay, how old yeah. is he? Uh twenty one. Yeah, I was gonna say like twenty two mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, twenty one. He got bars. Uh, yeah, man, he dope. Yeah. Been dope. Man, yeah. Shit, I think we met him. He was probably like 18, 19. Wow. Yeah, I think when he was recording, yeah. he was, yeah. yeah. He was probably like 18, 19. When, when he was recording him, with me, he was young. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Being an artist is not easy. You know, I made a song when me and the homies did. Yeah. Come on. I helped him put residential politics together, man, day in, day out. We was in the studio. That's dope. I really got to see what it was like to be an artist. It's yeah. a lot, like, man. It is. It's it really a lot. is. It is from writing a song to recording it to doing the music video. We did it all in like two weeks. But not only but that, it was so much fun. But not only that, like a, like fans, they just they just take take take. They want more. You, know, you could drop the hardest. You could drop twenty songs and they the hardest songs ever. Twenty videos and as soon as they watch it all, they like, all right, we want more. That's just how fans are. They're nowadays, fiends man. for the yeah. music. Fans are fiends. <laughs> <laughs> You right, man. You can't you can't feed them enough. They don't have time to process it. It's too much coming out. Yeah, all day. There's too many artists. You gotta you gotta be able to catch the attention of the masses as an artist. Yeah, for sure. This nigga said the masses. I'm not about to play with you. No, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love Tupac, a lot, Tupac draw Brenda's got a baby. Yeah, that shit changed the world. That's true. Mm. That's true. Because yeah. nobody really. Knew about those kind of situations. That shit really changed the world. Yeah. Come to the hood yeah. where you so can really not just, survive. It's really <laughs> just, it's really just on the strength of you as an artist, man. You and then also, you know, uh, what artists really are here for? Some people don't want to be in this game for a long time. No, nah, they just want to kind of do their little in, thing and yeah, get in, get out, kind of tap in. But when you, you start taking it, it's many different fields in this industry. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. So that, but see, that's you understand that, bro. Yeah. Not a lot of people understand that. Because you do it all. Yeah. 
for sure. So, I mean, that's why I know, like, your team and your heart and where it's at, you a team player, bro. And you can be a team player because you've done it all. It's not just somebody who, uh, you got a little degree, so you got some knowledge about what to kick. Nah, bro, you can do everything so I can give you game from every angle. Yeah, That's a big definitely. deal, bro. Yeah. So do you want to go, like, worldwide? Like... We're going to take it as far as we can. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? We got the opportunity to. Because I believe in independent artists. Like, why not? All day. The opportunity to. Because you can. Yeah. You know? And a lot of people don't believe in themselves, and then they just sell themselves short. You yeah, know? where does your self-belief come from, man? Because that's a big deal. Um, not having anyone to believe in me. Mm. I was forced to. I believe in myself. No other option. Yeah. I wasn't and then especially no other when you start putting kids into this world. Yeah, come on. Wow. Yeah. You, you, you got to do something, man. Yeah. <laughs> and see, like, when it come to, when it's pertaining to dog and T, you know, PG believed in me. Shout out to PG again. And, and we sat down as a unit, you know, and mm -hmm. put our belief into them. That's dope. Well, they say it only takes We're going to let person. them shine. It does. To believe in you. You know what I'm saying? It does. It takes one person really just paying paying attention. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what I'm saying? Just paying attention. Mm -hmm. Pay a attention. Lot, a lot of people don't know if anybody believe in them because a lot of people don't express that. Mm. You get what I'm saying? So you can believe in somebody, but if you don't express it to them, how are they going to know? What else right. you think? That's where the fuel. That's where the fuel comes from. Absolutely. Yeah, but actions too. If somebody believe in you, they gonna push you. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. You know, that's that's sure. what come with it. It's that that's like hand in hand. That's what come with it. But that you don't find a lot of people that believe in other people's. You know, to want to do that. But that's what he was saying earlier. Mm -hmm. He was like, it, it seems like people could just kind of got secret agendas. Mm -hmm. Man, okay. <laughs> All day. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't been through that too many times. I had to learn the hard way, yeah. you know. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, when they show you, believe them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. And yeah, that's the thing that I like them. about, I mean, your squad, bro. They Y'all have been together for a minute now. Yeah, a couple years. One, that's a big years. deal, bro. Yeah. People... They don't stick together. Strong. No. <laughs> you right. Not a dog. Man. Not a dog. And, and I, we relevant as a team. Yeah. And that's what I like. Yeah. Uh, the last show that we saw each other at Hot Sauce opened up, mm -hmm. right? But I liked I liked what was happening because y'all was all there in support of her. I thought yeah. that's what you're supposed to do. Now just, yeah. now just think you're right. Now just think if these promoters, you know what I'm saying, pay Hot Sauce the hell on. They got the money. They out here spending 40, 50 on. What I'm saying, they can bring whatever artist they want to bring from out of town. Absolutely, all day. But let Hot Sauce headline. You get yeah, what that's what. That's what. That's how they, you get your city on. You're right. That's what they have to want to do. Yeah. So you got to start letting the artists of the city headline the shows. Yeah. Why not? That I I don't I don't I don't be because the only I don't one be in that, that I know like that, so that I really know. headlines a lot that people come out is Ado. Yeah, For sure. they gonna he come hard. out like. Yeah, I don't see that with no other artist. Well, no, I can't nah, say I can't nah. say that. I take that back. But I know for a fact. Ado. When, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Ad Coley. Absolutely. That's another boss one. made. True. Absolutely. True. True. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's we could we could really go. We could really <laughs> That's a whole different conversation I but, know um, Man the artists We talented here man We do We are Cause when I went down I went down to Atlanta Brought my hard drive This was around Thanksgiving And I was in the studio And they let me play some stuff Oh I was playing music For sure Nice And they was like man This is dope man And I was like yeah I'm from they, You know Where are you from I'm from Kansas For real <laughs> <laughs> So I'm like off. Kansas City? Nah, man, I'm from Wichita, like the middle of nowhere. You was down there playing our Absolutely, because the dude... That's what's up. The dude, his name was Sky Beats. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was, I just went to the studio. I'll tell you the story real quick. I went to the studio in Atlanta. I was shooting a music video, but everybody wasn't there. So they had a studio side and then like a music video side. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I was waiting for people. So I went to the studio side. Met the producer, his name was Sky Beats, and I was like, hey, bro, play me some of your stuff. 
He's like, all right. So he logs in the world star hip hop. And he's like, bro, I did that song, that song, that song. That's all hits. Wow. So I was just sitting there listening. I was like, dang, bro, this is dope. So eventually he looked over at me. He's like, bro, what do you do? I was like, oh, man, I play some records. And he was like, bro, this, this is dope. It's like, yeah, man, I'm from Kansas. <laughs> yeah, throwing my like, what? You know what I'm saying? And so uh, yeah, okay. don't get it twisted, man. All it's the dub, day. man. Yeah. So With your titty. Just to <laughs> just to see that, man. You know what I'm saying? When they're like, dang, bro, y'all got y'all got something out there. Yeah, it's the middle of the map. Period. Yeah, we do. We got yeah. something out we there. We ain't new to this. We true to this. The melting pot. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta come through here to get coast to coast, no matter which way you go, east come or on. west. Uh-huh. It's dope, man. You know? We really do got something. Um, so it's just, I don't know, man, what I really want to do here, you know what I'm saying? I really want to do a music festival here. I know South by Southwest. Mm-hmm. If you're an artist, you know what that is, right? But I really think that you can, we could do it here since we are in the middle. Yeah. Man, Oklahoma, let's, Missouri. Let's do it. Texas. Yeah, we, it's. Arkansas. I've, I've talked to some man, officials Man, I got some, downtown. I can reach out it's, to it's Oklahoma. Tough. Yeah, yeah, real oh, tough. Oh, that's going to be lit. It's tough because let's real just tough. keep it a thousand. Like, the city officials don't want that. Nah. You know what I'm saying? So when, I mean, you know, throwing a show, you got to do this. You got to get a sound permit. You got you got to get that stuff cleared. True. Most definitely. And you know, Wichita, if they don't want it, they're going to make it impossible to. Oh, my God. But you just got to jump through too definitely. many hoops. So you know. that's that's the headache part. Um, but also another thing in the city that's that's really affecting all of us is there's nothing. We have so many positive things that happen in the hip-hop community. We really do yeah. here, right? But as soon as like one shooting happens or this happens, that's the only thing that gets portrayed. We've had so many club nights here that have been successful. 100%. So many. We have it every weekend, right? Mm -hmm. But as soon as, you know, somebody doing something, it's all over the place and everybody's like, yeah, that's why you shouldn't go out. That's why this, that. That's not true. So we can't. Because the negativity going always. Yeah, broadcast. Man, I was just getting ready to say that. Anything positive going on. And you're right about that. So People are influenced by negativity. We just have to continue to just push the agenda. You know what I'm saying? We can't mm-hmm. let one bad apple just ruin everything that we build, man. Mm-hmm. We, yeah. we all building this together. No, nah, most definitely. Sure. That's how you get on as a city. That's and that's, it that's will, where we And at. then I'm big on <laughs> leading by example, too. Absolutely. You know, mm-hmm. I feel like that'll kind of spark in other people. You know? Yeah, but we, we know who's doing stuff out here. We know, uh, I mean, the conversations... When you into small rooms, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We we know who's really moving and who's really good to work with. Yeah, and most definitely. That's one thing about Doggy and T as far as like artists goes. When people come in here and they ask about collabs and stuff, bro, I'll be telling them just three. I'll be telling them TTG. I'll be I drop y'all, bro. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. That's really what you supposed to do. Absolutely. For sure. They'd be like, Man, who's talented in the city, bro? I'm a, I'm gonna play some I'm gonna play some just three for sure. I'm not even gonna cap. Yeah, I'm like that's hard. going to happen. Mm-hmm. That's going to happen, man. I'll, I'll play the D Honest, man. I'll play the Black Slims. I'll play, man. There's so many names, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, a lot of talent here, man. A ton, a, lot. a ton, and it really just depends what you're looking for, too. Mm-hmm. And I've what had, you like. I've sent people your way when they're like, "Bro, I kind of just need somebody, you know, who can do beats and who can do this and who goes, yeah, Marty will fly. He can do it all." Mm-hmm. How did you come up with your name? Uh, my brother got me that name. <laughs> Why did he give you that? Marty will fly. <laughs> He told me I was ahead of my time. <laughs> That's hard, yo. That's tough. Yeah, when I was like 18. Yeah. That's so hard. So you been hearing that your whole life. Yeah, that's who he is. He told me that's I was him. ahead of my time. This nigga yeah. been born yeah, I mean, ages Marty ago. McFly. <laughs> yeah. That's so dope. Oh, yeah, I definitely been here before. I, I like love that. it, man. I love that we just, you know, trying to just push this agenda together, man. And it's really good seeing you. In a oh, good yeah, headspace, definitely. Because I know when you got a family and when you're working with a team and keeping everything together, there's times when you just like, bro, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. It is. Yeah. It's just it See, is. When, when times get like that, I cut on my favorite Bobby Brown song, "Get Away." Come on, mm-hmm. Look come at on. You. Yeah, real shit. Yeah, I love yeah. it. He already got the remedy yeah. ready. <laughs> Disappeared. Real shit. Don't yeah. play with me. <laughs> yeah. Real. So, no nah, man, I think that that's dope. Anything else you want to say, man? Um, it's better this way is out now. Man, go get that on all it's platforms. It's better this way, all yeah. platforms. Yeah, it's an R and B solo album I dropped. 
Look at you. Ah. Yeah, I'm tapping in. <laughs> the song that I fell in love was uh, Back Out. Back, Back out. out, yeah. yeah. Shout out my boy Deonis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. got Deonis on that joint. I said, hold hard. on, the homie got bars in. Mm-hmm. The- what's going on? He one of them artists too, bro. Like, he'll record four songs. <laughs> I don't know how y'all be doing that, bro. Y'all that be- means they, that passion, you know? The second they nature. They ready. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. What's the, what's Because I'm going to play it in the car, the album. It's better this way. It's better this story. way. It's better this way. I'm gonna yeah. send you the uh, the Spotify link. You got Spotify? Or you yeah, use Apple Spotify. Music? Yeah, I'll send yep, it. Yep. But I want to hear that album that's dropping. Oh, it's coming. This summer. This summer. Oh, the, with the, all the like, yeah. It's, it's gonna be crazy. Okay, that's that's the one I want to hear. It's coming. I it's love crazy. it. Mm-hmm. All right, man. That's our time. Humble talks with Marty McFly, Candy B, Humble Greatness. Yeah, yeah. It's going down. Y'all tap in. <laughs>